Let's look at the ongoing case of the rusty crayfish, an invasive species that is seemingly everywhere in the Great Lakes region, thanks to anglers who unknowingly help their spread by using them as fishing bait. The rusty crayfish is a creepy crustacean that belongs to the family of crabs, lobsters, prawns, and shrimp that are distantly related to insects. Their scientific name in Latin is rusticus, so called because of their two rusty reddish spots that are located on their carapace, the dorsal section of their exoskeleton more commonly known as their upper shell. Adults are generally three to four inches in length, and their claws are longer than many other crayfish. Rusty crayfish can grow rather large and become rather aggressive. They challenge native crayfish, feeding all day on local vegetation while they outcompete their smaller counterparts. They can have a major impact on lakes due to their oversized appetite for aquatic plants and insects. They can harm native fish populations by eating their eggs and eating their young. Rusty crayfish are native to the Ohio River Basin. Think Southern Ohio, Southern Indiana, and Kentucky. But they are now found in Michigan, Minnesota, Illinois, Wisconsin, and 17 other states, as well as Ontario and Canada. Anglers brought rusty crayfish to new areas via their bait buckets, although some areas intentionally established them in their lakes as a means of removing nuisance weeds. Oops. Rusty crayfish prefer a rocky habitat, which allows them to hide if necessary. They are found in rivers and streams as well as lakes, often being found in depths less than one meter or about three feet, but they can also be found in deeper waters like Lake Michigan. They displace a lot of fish. I went to take photos of biologist Ashley Baldrich for my second book, Super Youper, The Quest of the Blue Crew. We met at Trout Lake, Wisconsin, not far from the border of Michigan's Upper Peninsula, the UP. The night before I arrived, she put out five traps with a can of cat food as bait. In one night, she caught more than 300. 300 in one night, and it wasn't that large of a lake. But she told me that was hardly anything compared to what was found in another lake nearby. Biologists wanted to see if intensive trapping might reduce the population of rusty crayfish. In less than four hours of trawling with nets, they caught more than 10,000 crayfish. Unfortunately, ecosystems are often unable to recover from the effects of rusty crayfish, even after their population is reduced. They can decimate, destroy entire colonies of fish in a lake. From an ecological standpoint, they are bad news. It's been reported that cabin owners on heavily infested lakes in northern Wisconsin and Minnesota, they stop swimming completely because of the large number of rusty crayfish. They avoid the water out of fear of stepping on them or getting pinched by their claws. In fact, Ashley got pinched a couple of times while I was taking photos. That's biological harassment. But she said it was no big deal. Happens all the time. She gets her revenge by eating them. That's right, a lot of people think that the meat inside their claws and tails is quite tasty, served Cajun style. So eat your fill before they kill. I hope you've enjoyed what I've shared. Please subscribe to my channel to follow more cases of invasive species. And as always, thanks for watching.